Well, hello out there in Twitter land. Um, yeah, the game tonight was a bit of a disaster. Uh, it looked like it was going to stay even, but then the ways just kind of poured on the Jets with the scoring. And also poured on the Drama Queen acts, too. Um, and I'll be very honest with the final stunt that they pulled. I was not impressed by it. And I was even less impressed by the referee when our captain spoke up and said, hey, nobody t was even near that guy when he fell. Um, what are you doing putting our guy in the box for? And they went and they kicked the captain out. I probably would have uh, got the penalty for the same thing if I'd have been in the game because I would have argued the point too and I would have been equally as diplomatic as our captain which leaves a lot of leeway because I know sometimes uh, both he and I can be a little bit too blunt at times. But in any case, um, there is uh, an autograph session thingy after the game, and I'm very pleased I got the autographs from the half dozen gentlemen that I was hoping to. I know of one of them, there's uh, a different type of autograph I'd like to get from him, but not gonna get into any, not gonna get into that right now. In any case, uh, afterwards there was a um, like all the guys left in that, and uh, my friend Pam and I were going to leave. And I ran into a high school buddy of mine who's in the wheelchair, he's special needs. And well, his ride hadn't, well, his ride had basically taken off without him. So he needed me to phone his ride to get the ride back there. And so I did that, and then I asked him, because last time I'd spoken to this gentleman, he told me that his dad was in hospital with a stroke. His dad had passed away. So that brought a whole new perspective on the evening for me. Because uh, he... he he was blaming himself for his father's death. And what he told me before was that his dad had a stroke. And I told him, I said, well, you can't control that. You can't, you know, take the blame for that. And he said, well, my dad told me it was my fault. You know, he, he was telling me this. And I told him, well, sometimes when people get sick, they lash out at those that they love the most and trust the most. So just don't take those final few words he might have said to you personally because I'm sure that deep down he loved you. And he was going to say, well, I don't know if he loved me or not, this kind of thing. So then I said, well, did he remember your birthday? He said, oh yeah, yeah, he always wished me a happy birthday. And I said, well then, your dad did one thing better than mine ever did. So for he, he, he realized then that although maybe his dad didn't always see eye to eye with things, and his dad had other expectations for him, that he at least loved him enough to do that. Needless to say, he, after that deep discussion, I he, needed to get out. So, when, well, I drove straight back to my friend Pam's place. Her, her older sister and not your roommates. And so, like Cheryl always does driving after a hockey game because I'm just like so tired afterwards. And I said, well, let's, let's go to BP's for supper. Now, I was thinking because the gentlemen had lost their game that none of them would be there. I figured that they'd all be, you know, at home, uh, you know, maybe playing Minecraft or Donkey Kong or something. Like just taking it out on a video game or something. Or maybe a punching bag, I don't know. 
And instead we get there and the restaurant is pretty much full. Yeah, the guys are there. And uh, I didn't expect that, but I figured, well, we're here if we're going to have pizza. So we sat down, we had pizza. And I know for a certain gentleman there um, did a little patty cake show in front of me. He, he didn't shock me. I've seen you in less, so trust me, you didn't shock me, darling. You didn't shock me at all. Although I thought it was kind of, I don't know, sweet and innocent in a way. If my roommate heard me saying that, she'd be rolling her eyes, shaking her head, and saying, What the heck are you saying that for? But that's how I saw it. And I needed something playful like that. After having this discussion with this guy I'd known since high school um, about having lost his father and, uh, and that sort of thing, so I needed that lightness. So thank you for that. I know you were probably going to be cheeky, pun intended. Um, but I needed that tonight. I really did. Best of luck in your next games that you have. I know uh, it'll be here. I'll be honest, it'll be a miracle if you guys make it in the playoffs. But prove me wrong, please. For several reasons, least of all being, I don't exactly do a lot outside of my grad studies and trying to run the farm and trying to get the house fixed up. I mean, there's so much on my plate right now and uh, having your games on and being able to go with them is a good relief for me. This vlog went considerably longer than I expected it to tonight. But I'm okay with that. And as long as the right person is listening. That's all that matters. And if there's other people listening too, I'm okay with that as well. But uh, you know who you are. And to be honest, after I had that discussion with... Uh, this guy that I'd gone to school with, I could have done with a hug or something. But Cheryl's not much on hugging, and uh, Pam didn't know what to do about it. And if I tried hugging my cat, well, part of the reason why I was wearing the skirt tonight was because uh, my cats have been cutting up my legs badly. And uh, it's just too sore for me to even put anything on over the top of my knees, so I literally had a pair of bike shorts on underneath my skirt tonight. Yes, my legs are cold, very cold, every time I was going out to my vehicle. So, um, yeah. I just... Uh, I don't know what else to say here. I hope that you listen to this. I really hope you do. And you keep your eyes up here, okay? Because, uh, yeah. In any case, I'm just going to upload the stuff from here and uh, put it on my computer and get everything off my cell phone so I can do another memory dump with it. Have a pleasant evening. Or pleasant morning, it's because it's early morning now. And if you feel like calling, you know how to pick up a phone. And, and you should still have my number. Anyway, bye. For now.